Welcome back. Happy Friday. New this morning, NASA launching a new mission that will revolutionize how we talk with future space missions in space, including the moon, Mars and beyond. The laser communications relay demonstration will launch from Kennedy Space Center in Florida this Sunday morning, and it's tasked with using lasers to communicate in space. Can't help but think of Dr. Evil here. NASA Chief uh, Engineer Jeffrey Sheehy joining us live from NASA this morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Uh, lasers in space sounds kind of like science fiction. Tell us about the mission and what it would be testing. Right. Well, it's a new technology. Um, we're going to be using lasers, as you mentioned, to carry the data from a spacecraft to the ground. Um, so the data will be transmitted from the ground to the spacecraft and the spacecraft to the ground using the laser terminals that you see there in the image. Um, right now we use radio frequency communication to, to communicate from spacecraft to the ground. That's the portion of the electromagnetic spectrum where the frequencies are low, uh, the wavelengths are very long, the energy is low, and the atmosphere is opaque to radio frequency, so it's a good way of communicating, but if we use lasers in the infrared portion of the spectrum, we can communicate 10 or 100 times faster wow. than we do now. So we can send more data, um, do more science and collect that data and send that back to Earth. And so this technology demonstration is the first step in laying the groundwork for a new form of communication between uh, distant destinations in space and the Earth using lasers or optical communication. Yeah, uh, it's kind of like upgrading the dial-up modem, I suppose, uh, from radio frequencies. Yeah, I remember the days when I, I had a 1200 baud modem, you know, in the early days, <laughs> and then I, I went to NASA Ames Research Center as a postdoctoral fellow, and they gave me a 9600 baud modem, and it felt like, wow, this is amazing. <laughs> I, could, I could communicate, what, six times faster or seven times faster than I was before. And uh, yes, if you can upgrade your com rate by 10 or 100 times. It's like getting gigabit internet in your house. Yeah, there you go. It seems important. So what, what exactly is the point here? Why use this? And what is NASA hoping to accomplish with this new technology? Right. So, um, you know, you, you mentioned that we're uh, laying the groundwork for going to the moon and to Mars uh, with human exploration back to the moon and on to Mars. And the idea is to set up robust explanation uh, exploration outposts at these destinations. And so we're gonna uh, do more science, more exploration, learn how to use the resources we find at those destinations. All of that is gonna generate a lot more data and we're gonna be able to send that data back to Earth. With, with, with the communication rates that we'll be able to demonstrate with this uh, a technology demonstration where we'll be beaming the data from a spacecraft in geosynchronous orbit back to ground stations in California and in, in Hawaii on the Earth, we'll uh, be able to do the equivalent of sending a full movie in a minute. So wow. very high data rate. The other great feature is the size, weight, and power, what uh, spacecraft people call the swap for uh, the equipment is smaller than for the current uh, communications equipment. And so any amount of space and weight you can save on the spacecraft allows you to put sure. more instrumentation and more science, do more science with the spacecraft. Yeah, one, one new step closer to getting maybe man on Mars someday. We'll be watching for this launch Sunday morning. Uh, NASA Chief Engineer Jeffrey Sheehy joined us live this morning. Thank you, sir. We appreciate your time. Thank you.